How's it going guys? So uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what I look for uh, when I'm on the water try to find some fish. Sometimes it's 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 a little hard to find fish and uh, so I want to give you a little bit idea of what I look for and uh, you know when times are hard when times are hard sometimes things are slow you got to change it up and uh, go back to basics and see what you can find. So I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Let's go fishing. Part of fishing is enjoying the calmness in the morning. Oh, there's something. There's something. You see it? Yeah. Oh, there's something. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. That's the smaller one. It's the big one that I want. Look at them over there. They don't want to... They don't want to follow it. There's a little one following it. All right, all right, let's get him. He's over there still. Oh! All right, come on. Oh, come on. Ah! Oh. Got too anxious, got too anxious. Work, work it a little, little slow, John. Slow, work, work a little, little slow in there, but they don't want to. They want to. They don't want to work, work for it. it. But one Man, thing. Give it a little pop. One thing about this. Uh, they want the noise. Water being so calm, it allows you allows you to see these. Uh, there you go. These surface breaks. There you, there you go. go. Don't don't, don't rush, rush it. it. Just, just twitch, twitch it some, it some more. more. Even if you just don't, don't stop, just, just kind of keep moving a little bit. Twitch even it, if twitch you don't it. catch, they want, you want to know. They want to know it's still there. there. Even if you don't catch, it's learning. Okay, guys. So, what was going on this particular day is there wasn't really a whole lot of anything. There was no, wasn't a lot of bait movement. There wasn't any. Uh, no sight casting at all. There was no blow ups hardly anywhere. And no visible signs of, of activity. And uh, we were not getting any bites. This was probably close to about 9.30, uh, 10 o'clock. And we hadn't, we hadn't really caught anything. We caught some small, really small things. And they were like uh, skipjacks. And, um, so the point is, is you want to kind of go back to basics. You want to hit spots like this, these little, these little cuts here. 
kind of pause it. You want to hit, you want to hit these open, see how this flows through. You want to hit these cuts. You want to hit these indentions, these grass lines, go back to basics. If, if you're not seeing them and you're in the process of moving to one spot to another, um, hit these areas. Uh, something that I always say is always, always fish these openings before you go through them. If, you, if you're getting ready to go through them, fish the opening before you'd go through them. I'm not going through this particular one. Um, but one of the things that was happening was I was, I kept hearing what seemed like blow ups. A lot of, I was hearing a lot of activity, but I was not seeing them. That's why I was kind of pausing here to figure out, you know, where is that coming from? So I just kept on hitting these, these small areas. So let me speed it up a little bit. This is. What was happening is there is a opening, a bigger opening here. That I knew was coming up and there was a lot of. Again, I kept hearing a lot of a lot of what what seemed to be blow ups and I'm not seeing any kind of bait activity on this particular side of the of this uh, opening or peninsula. So I was kind of pausing to see if there was anything. It's not the area we were going to go to. But I was pausing to see if there was any bait, any fish that are right here at the opening. I always talk about fishing the, fishing the openings. And that's something you should always do because there's always something just sitting there. I was hesitating because I wasn't going to go in here. That's not where I was planning to go. But... If you can see, let me get a, there's a little bit of nervous water right in this area here. Another little indicator that there might be something going on. Y'all see that back there? We're here on the right side. More indicators that there's something back here. Now, what I want you to, I'm going to pause it. What I want you to look for is the nervous water. There's going to be nervous water all in here. There's going to be nervous water all in here. And as we get further in, you'll see more nervous water. So if you notice, let's say like right now, okay, it's all, it's all the same, right? Now what's going to happen is you're going to start seeing little high frequency water nervous looks like nervous water is different it's more it's more flickering what that is is bait that is underneath that is getting disturbed by something that is something you're going to be looking for when you're out in the water and you're out open water is stuff like that sometimes it's you but if it's you're coming up into this water see that over there Kept seeing that bigger wake, the nervous water back here. See that all over here. A little more flickering. Further out, see the slicks. That's something else you want to look for. There's a slick out here. All this is kind of a slick. And there's nothing, there was nothing here to cause that. A boat did not come through there. There's, there's, see how it's shiny, the lighter color.
Now, what that's from is predator fish that have been gorging themselves on the bait fish. And what happens is, oh, I'm still, I'm, I still want to eat. So they spit out some of that, some of that bait that they just ate, and it causes these slicks. Now, see that big old area back here. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you want to look for. Give you a better sign of where where the fish are. Find the bait, you find the predator fish. I was determined to know that there was something here. It's only about a. Oh. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh. Well, tell uh, John, John to go ahead and come over here. here. Oh, crap! Dang it! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> snapped her off the brittle. Well, what happened was when it hit, it inhaled that lure. And I just let it sit there, and he probably got to swallow a little bit more. Whatever it was was big. And when I went to set the hook, it basically snapped that braid uh, on its teeth. The line. So I lost that. Oh. I lost my lost my Ooh. three and a half inch lure too. It's a top water. Now on this particular day, it was the blue moon that night, or that. That night, yeah. A little bit more wind, a little bit more current, but I actually had didn't find the fish right away. In this particular area, there is a boat channel that runs right along over here. There was a lot of surface breaks, like over here, over here, what I was seeing. So something you want to look for is that type of service breaks. Now, over here by the boat channel, shallower. All along right here, like where these things are, it's shallow right there. Basically, I was working that edge. It's a little deeper. See how it's flat, it's shiny here? See how it's shiny right here, and it's in this area here, not as shiny, has a little bit more waves to it. A little deeper right there. He's still looking at it. There you go. Alright. Got the keeper too. <clears throat> oh yeah. He's keeper for sure. Man, he's looking at it too. He's like, is it real? Or is it Memorex? <laughs> you remember that? Is it real? 
buried. Is it real or is it Memorex? So again, when it's tough and it's slow, you want to go back to basics. You want to look for these openings. You want to look for where there's water flow. In this particular area, there is uh, some oyster reefs. Kind of see them coming out of the water right here. And there was a little back lake where the water was flowing out. Some visible sign of bait. That's good. You don't want tons and tons of bait because you're not going to be singled out. You want to be able to be singled out. So the water was actually coming out here. There was oyster on both sides of this little little opening right here. So right in this little opening here and here was a lot deeper than the surrounding area. But because it was such a tough, tough bite, I actually was working it very slow. the first one not quite big enough but I figured I'd go ahead and give it another shot <laughs> Got a little worried there. I was getting flashbacks from it going over the back. <laughs>
Now in this particular scenario, very calm, first thing in the morning, and there is a flow of bait right here. And the idea is to throw it, you know, sometimes throw it right in the middle of them. And the idea is for you to, to stand out. You want to be the injured, the injured, injured wildebeest as the lions are trying to get them. In this case, I was using a top water. Find the bait, find the predator fish. They're following them. So those reds are waiting, waiting for somebody that doesn't look right. You know what I mean? that's injured something they can just pounce on This is on a Cajun rod, it's an Atlas series. Medium fast action with a Fago 1000 on it. And it is a Rapula uh, scooter walk. I don't know if it would have made that much difference on what top water it was. <laughs> They're all over the place in there, huh? About the same size. This might be a little bigger. Uh, I'm not. This one was 18, this might be 18 and a half. 19, maybe. It's like maybe 18 and a half. Ooh! It's fun to catch, though. 